In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a variable length springing mechanism. Now we are going to see what, what is the problem if you make a variable springing mechanism using the scale bone tool. Okay? As you can see, I am in the frame number one because I have hidden the control bones. Okay, there is a springy mechanism here that is constrained to the master bone, okay, in the angle and also in the scale. Okay, this is the master bone. So if you rotate it, you have you that you know. Well, you can see that there is a way to modify the length of the spring mechanism using the scale tool in this way. Okay, and now we can make a larger stroke or smaller. Okay, so through the time we can make it larger and we can have different stroke and different position in the timeline. Okay, so what happened with this? Uh, build with this uh, setup you know you cannot reach a length of zero for this springy mechanism because of if you do so you cannot manipulate it very well it's very difficult to reach zero okay using the the mouse and also you don't have a limit to the length of the springy mechanism. That is a thing, a thing that I want to have because of it will represent also a rotation in another axis. <coughs> okay, so let's have a look to the other springy variable length mechanism that I have built here, okay, and now I here introduce another bone. This bone will control the length of this springy mechanism, and not, and now it's not control.